What's good in the hood, YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai. So I want to hear bring another video. I'm bringing you a video on Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel. For those who do not know, Super Ninja Steel is going to be the continuation season uh, that will come after Ninja Steel, which currently is on, hi on hiatus, but will return. Uh, for those that are curious, back in, uh, oh, in the fall of this year, uh, Super Ninja Steel, on the other hand, will be coming around January or February of 2018. Yes. So, for those that are wondering about what exactly I'm talking about, talking about returning rangers. Yes. Supposedly there are some rumors. Don't say anything because nothing is set in stone because we haven't gotten actual physical confirmation. But we've gotten supposed rumors about returning rangers that may or may not be returning um, from a possibly credible source, a source that actually does have connections with a number of people that are pretty credible in the industry. So there is a chance that it could be true. Some of them I'm expecting anyway, and some of them I'm not as much so. Uh, anyway, I wanted to go through the list that was brought up that seems kind of likely, but we'll see. Um, so for starters, the actor that many people would have expected anyway, Jason David Frank, supposedly will be returning. He played uh, Tommy the Green Ranger in Mighty Morphin as well as the White Ranger, and the Zeo, Zeo Red Ranger, and uh, Turbo Red Ranger, the first half, and the Dino Thunder Black Ranger. Uh, that's one actor, which not that surprising. Um, one other thing I forgot to note is that these, uh, uh, as far as what they're going to be doing, they're planning on making their return um, something that's not just a, you know, a hi, I'm here kind of a thing. More like similar to how Jungle Fury did Casey um, uh, during Super Mega Force, where they kind of give give a little bit more of a focus to the character. Also, they're planning on doing more on uh, making some of these uh, more than one episode long so that they can actually exist in more than one episode, which is great. Personally, I think that that is something that they uh, th that would have been really nice during Super Mega Force. So, yes, they'll actually try to make these characters last and actually have a lasting role. Hopefully, that implies that maybe if we get like another Legendary War, the Legendary War might last more than one episode. More than one episode if they're doing an episode like that. Don't know anything for sure, yet those remember that if they're gonna do something like that, it's gonna be pretty original because Japan didn't really do that, so it will have to be pretty original and they're not gonna be able to do as much source footage um, as prior seasons, so it could be pretty cool. Another actor I forgot to mention, is, uh, another actor that I'm gonna mention is Catherine Sutherland. Uh, for those who don't know, Catherine Sutherland played Cat in Power in My Morphin. Um, she replaced Kimberly um, towards the end of the third season and then she was zeo pink and she was the first half of turbo she was pink as well uh, that is very cool i think that that's great that we're getting some sort of representation of her it'd be interesting to see how they would choose to do it i don't know if they're gonna have the morph i don't know if they're gonna do like the whole entire like showing their helmet kind of thing that they did in super mega force hopefully something like that i would imagine um but yeah, no, it could be really cool to see Catherine Sutherland. I, I, I'd be very interested to see her. Uh, Pua Magasiva, uh, for those who don't know, he played Shane, the Ninja Storm Red Ranger, supposedly might be returning. If that's true, I'm so excited. Same with Sally Martin, the actress who played Tori, the Ninja Steel, uh, Ninja Storm, not Ninja Steel, Ninja Storm Blue Ranger, supposedly might be returning. Unfortunately, Glenn McClellan, who played um, Dustin, uh, isn't rumored right now, but obviously we don't know if these rumors are right, and we also don't know for a fact if um, if uh, maybe there's a chance that Glenn McClellan will be returning. So potentially there still might be a chance of him returning, but it's very cool to see that Sally and Pua are supposedly rumored to return, and this is from a credited source, which makes me that much more interested to see if it's going to be true, because... Oh my god, I'd be so excited. Especially if they could bring them to like Power Morphicon. Oh god, uh, next year. If that were the case, I would go nuts. Um, but we'll see. I don't, I don't want to hold anything. I don't want to say anything for a fact until we know. But those two are really exciting. Jason Fawn is another actor that was mentioned. He was um, like Tommy in uh, well, JD, uh, Jason David Frank in the. Uh, in Legendary War, uh, he was, you know, he's obviously West, the Time Force Red Ranger, so that's cool. They also mentioned um, Aaron Cahill, who is from, who's also from Time Force. The only thing about the about those two is that Jason Fawn's supposed to take place modern era. 
Jan is supposed to be in the future, so unless they explain that maybe she traveled back in time, that's going to be a very interesting thing to see how they're going to explain it or if they're not going to. If they don't, then people will be a lot more curious and a little bit more confused. I'm not saying that I'm necessarily a fan of them. Personally, I'm not. But hopefully they give some sort of recognition of the fact that maybe she's there. You know, like just kind of saying like, oh yeah, I traveled back because I had to fight some monster or Rancic or like there was a, a attack from some mutants or whatever. I don't know. Something like that. Um, additionally, they mentioned Nick Sampson, which previously was also mentioned uh, to return. Uh, Nick Sampson, for those who don't remember, is the Mystic was the Mystic Forest Blue uh, Ye uh, <laughs> Mystic Forest Yellow Ranger Chip. Um, he was mentioned in a earlier rumored list of returning cast members, which that was the thing they've already kind of rumored some of this stuff. Um, so I kind of am feeling like Nick Sampson will most likely return. I forgot to also mention Jason Font when it came to him. Apparently, this post uh, that people found led to uh, him commenting "hmm" to someone about this, which kind of makes us think that possibly, yeah, Jason Font's going to be in it, uh, which is cool. Uh, personally, I love I love Time Force. It's my favorite season, so you know, go figure. Um, anyway, other actors, Johnny Young Bosch, an actor who was in the Operation Overdrive special, which was once a ranger, um, so that is cool to see that he supposedly might be returning, and personally is one of my favorite Mighty Morphin rangers. He obviously replaced Zack, and he, so he played Mighty Morphin Black, Zeo Green, and Turbo Green first half. Um, so yes, yeah, so that is interesting to note, and I'm actually, yeah, I, I would say that, like, he's probably one of, if not my favorite, uh, my Morphin Rangers. Um, as far as, there's one other actor, which is, um, Nakia Baris. Uh, for those that are wondering, um, that, uh, Nakia Baris played Tanya in Zeo. Uh, she was the Yellow Ranger, and she also was... Uh, in Turbo at, during the first half as the Yellow Ranger as well. Um, personally, I think that if this list is true, then I, I'm very excited and I can't wait to see what we're going to... then I can't wait to see this. Um, and as far as my opinion goes, do I think that this is real? I think that a lot of this probably will. I don't know for a fact about certain actors. I feel like Nick Sampson's pretty likely, Jason David Frank pretty likely. Um, the other ones I can, I, I want to hope for most of them, and I feel like most of them will be returning. Like I feel like Jason Font, pretty likely. Aaron Cahill, pretty likely. Pua Magasava and Sally Morton, just because of how unusual they are to hear of makes me kind of tempted to believe that they will be returning but th at the same time i don't want to say anything for sure same uh, same with like nakia Burris. i feel like she's she's someone that i don't necessarily expect to be but we'll see i honestly don't know how they're going to really do these because you know some of these are a little bit more less themed i guess you could say so i don't know how they're going to necessarily in introduce them into the episodes like the reason why the casey episode was such a, a smart one was because they were like learning uh learning how to fight better which made a lot of sense because that connected with the japanese show all these characters you're gonna have to create more original story around them because most of them don't necessarily connect like aside from pua and sally i can't really see any other characters that would make much sense maybe tommy just because he's like a legendary ranger that everyone remembers other than that, I really can't say anything for a fact. We'll see. Um, but I'd love to know your guys' opinions. What do you guys think of this list? Do you think it's real? What other actors would you like to see, if any? Um, which seasons do you hope get represented more? Um, also, do you do you like the fact that we'll be getting returning actors, or are you wor and are you also worried about them making a mistake and doing something similar to the Legendary War and doing it poorly? Personally, for me, I feel like it's less likely they'll be poor due to the fact that they can't necessarily replicate the Legendary War again because that wouldn't make much sense and they'll have to use original footage so it will be very interesting to see what they plan on doing and also if there's any more actors that will be in the show let me know your guys opinions below please remember to like comment subscribe tell me what you guys think and i'll see you guys in the next video so until then guys i'm crazy one and goodbye guys